I awake in the night to the sounds of liminal spaces being broken down. Axes, silver blades bloodied, doors split open, typing keys on a useless typewriter, jingling keys to endless rooms, doors, the key to our wedding, shouting in the darkness and cold, bats being connected with skulls, all these things forced open by a man. After a month, no one cared anymore. No one asked me how my son was doing. No one asked me how I was doing. No one asked me how I was making it these darkened days, sleepless days. I feel for someone beside me, a body, but there's only that emptiness there, reaching out from the typewriter. The keys were our savior. Everything was all right beforehand, before we went there, but everything changed very rapidly. The heat did not melt the heavy snow. The keys did not save us. They ate us. They took everything away from me. They took away my husband, my man. They took away the sanity I had. They robbed me of blood, scars I'll never be able to heal from. Blood out on carpet, things go fast, and suddenly there's the shift of the bar, the pushing of meaning towards the, the stars. stars. And, and I, I didn't did know. And I can't, I can't even imagine. imagine. And there, it's the sorrow of knowing I won't be able to continue living happy. Was I ever happy? Sad? Okay? Good? I can't go in bathrooms anymore. Can't feel their four walls closing in on itself. That power of axes crashing through the door. Red, rum, myrrh, dirt. I can't drink rum without thinking of the devil. I can't wear red without thinking of the devil's silver bladed axe. That typewriter typing fast and heavy and hurried and crashing through the door, screaming through a hole, emptying all of the fears that's ever existed into this one small room, hoping someone screams back. <laughs>